how do you view architecture and design? Do you view them as background art forms in the sense that if they're done really well, if design is done really well, it's meant to be invisible and seamless so much so that you don't realize the depth that's gone behind it because it's doing its job so well. Or do you feel like architecture, art, design, it needs to be in your face, scream at you, inside conversation and it like emo- evoke an emotional response and really make you realize the depth of it? Yeah, personally, I like buildings that make me think. I mean, that's one reason that I love architecture because, um, uh, you know, it, the, the, for me, I'm always amazed at the capacity for um, buildings that I experience or, or see just walking down the street to make me think about ideas about how we might live or how we might inhabit spaces in cities or, um, or um, how we might work or, or how we might experience art or nature, among many other things. So I think for me, I personally don't, don't like designers or, or, des- or methods of design that aspire for making design an invisible part of life. I like it yeah. to be something that we often think about. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing I often think about is in the United States, Every time we go to wash our hands in a public restroom, it's like a different design experience, right? You yeah. know, it's like, it's actually a really interesting place to think about design. Also, because in this country, bathrooms are like um, at the center of all kinds of political battles all the time over gender, over privacy, over disability, over any number of things, over um, environmentalism and water use, mm-hmm. right? Um, hygiene, sanitation. So, you know, you can like bathrooms are, are very interesting places in which you're always thinking about um, ideas about design in terms of like washing your hands or, you know, using the facilities or drying your hands. Right. And so it's it's fascinating to me how such a simple thing as like washing your hands, for example, yeah. can be rethought so many times over by designers up until this day. Like, haven't we solved the problem of how to wash your hands? <laughs> but designers <laughs> keep coming up with more and more um, innovative and, <laughs> and provocative ways in which we can do it within uh, a bathroom. Yeah, I can completely resonate. Like so many times I don't know how to like how to get the sink working. Like, oh, exactly. Right. Like, it's yeah. like, am I invisible? Yeah, like, you happening? know, what happened to me? It's like, oh, that's not, once you see it, it's obvious. <laughs> right. but like, oh, you mean yeah. the, the automatic ones yeah, in particular? The automatic right. ones. Like, where's the sensor? Right. Or some of the ones have the knobs that are so like seamlessly like integrated. You right. don't know which one, what to turn and stuff. Like, where does this come from that you're not allowed to touch anything in a bathroom? This is like a theme of the last 10 years. I yeah. guess hygiene. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm no expert. 